Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. We're going to be using one of our old stamps. This is our Hobbit door. And I'm going to use those alongside a couple of our newer stamps. I'm going to be using some of our watercolour pencils and I've got my watercolour card here as well. We are of course going to be stamping in Versafine and I'm using some of the Elements inks. Let's get started with our Hobbit door. I'm going to ink this up in the Nocturne. It's actually quite nice for me to revisit some of our older stamps and some of them are my favourites from a long, long time ago. So it's quite nice to pick those back up again. Okay, so I've got the door here. I'm going to place that down in the centre there. And let's give that a good press. Now it's on watercolour card. So um, there is a little bit more texture there. So just take your time, make sure that we get all that lovely detail. I think quite often we um, ink up, we stamp, take straight off and then we wonder why there's areas missing and that's just simply because we need to take a little bit more time over it. So there's our lovely door and now I'm going to decorate around the edge. I'm going to ink up in Golden Meadow. A lovely nice sort of yellow green and now I'm going to ink just the top I'm not inking the stem at all got one of my other little stamps here, another one of my favourites and I'm going to use Warm Breeze this time. And this time I'm going to ink up in Twilight and I've got a little fern stamp here. I'm going to take off first because I want this to be quite light in the background. That's fine. And now we've got our lovely little characters that we're going to ink up alongside here. And I'm going to ink up again in the Nocturne. And we've got our other little mouse and we're going to pop him on the other side. Like 
think so. What's next? I need a stencil brush and I'm going to use the line punch and I'm going to go around the edge. And now I'm going to use my watercolour pencils. So I'm going to pick a lovely pink here because I think the pink are going to go really nice with the green. And I'm going to just bring that around the edge. Now don't forget you'll be blending this with water so don't worry too much about it being so uh, precise. And then I'm going to bring in some blue. And I'm just softening the darker line here. And then I'm going to take it over the door as well, just on the one side. I'm going to bring in some grey. Again, I want to just create a little bit of shadow, so I'm bringing in some depth inside the door. Just do a little bit over the stones as well, around the stones. And just along the edge there. Okay, if you feel you want to put some more on, then uh, once you've added the water, dry it off and you can keep on adding that pencil, so that's not a problem. It's better to build it up gradually than put too much on at the beginning. So I've got my little brush here, and I'm just going to run that over the top. I'm not being, again, I'm not being too precise about it. I'm literally just taking that brush over the edge. Okay, I'm going to dry that off now. And then I've got some little words here that I'm going to pop over the top. And I'm going to ink up in the warm breeze. So I'm just popping. different colour now. I'm going to use the twilight. This is quite a dark colour so I am going to take off first. Do one without. Maybe another down there. Okay. 
And then lastly, we've got the word faith. And I'm going to ink up this time in the glamorous, in the pink. So. We've got loads of colour going on here. Okay, so I'm going to now grab our Posca pen. Give that a shake. And I'm just going to add a few little dots. And just to bring it to life. Okay, um, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter as well, I think. I think we'll use the mermaid blue. So, taking my glue pen now, I'm just going to dot a little down at the bottom here. I'm not going to do loads. Just enough of a little sparkle there. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed today's card, something a little bit different, um, and I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. Take care guys, see you again very soon, bye for now.